Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Jump Dash Evade. Today I will be showing how to do some basic text editing. Uh, nothing serious, but uh, just some simple cleanup uh, of your tiles. Um, really, these kind of tiles that we have right here, uh, everyone has them because you want your, your level to look proper. Um, so if I delete these ones, for example, those change. Um, so everybody adds these blank um, single tiles into their levels just to fix their levels up a bit. What we're going to do is actually delete these and we'll go into the Megman Maker uh, text editing tool that I will link in the description below. And we will uh, fix some of these issues. So some of the issues that we're going to look for are something like this. Uh, something like this right here. And another thing that I'm going to look out for in this level that I'm creating is these pipes. Now, I don't actually want them to be disconnected like this. I just want the color to change when we're underwater. So these are very simple edits that the tool will allow us for. Um, and it's very, very simple, very easy to do. So um, let's load up that application and load this level in. I'll be right back. So once you have the file loaded, you should see something like this. And here we'll have to go to File, Open. And we're going to open our level. Uh, in this case, um, I am actually on D drive, so one thing that you need to be aware of is you're going to need to have a the same level copied over on the drive that you're actually um, using. So in my case, it's D drive, so I have to use a version of the file in D drive. Um, so let's go find that level. Okay, so here's my level here, and the one that I was editing earlier is Salamander Man, so let's open that up. And you will see the complete level load up just like you did um, in the actual game itself. Now you'll notice that some things like uh, that I showed you actually earlier, like these pipes not connecting, we can fix those here. Um, so the second icon here um, just lets you fool around with the tile edits. So let's go find the tile that we're looking for. In this case, I know it's Meg Man 10 and it's Pipe Man, or not Pipe Man, Pump Man. And I can pick a specific tile to use. So in this case, I'm going to use this one and replace that. Then I'm going to go and use the bottom corner and replace that. And now this is fixed. Well, the same thing needs to be done right here. So this is an upwards facing pipe, so that is perfectly fine. That's what I actually want. This one is not fine. This should be a connected pipe. So I have to get a connected pipe. And there I go. That is now fixed. Same thing here. I'm going to make that into a connected pipe and this one into a connected pipe. And I do need to get the brown version of the pipes for the next step. Connected pipe, or right there, and the corner piece going up to replace that. Now what I have is a fully connected pipe of two different colors, and the water will separate those colors, and it should look real nice with, uh, without having to, you know, fill in this blank screen here. This will save on load time, and you can also avoid things like having to have a, a floor of spikes to compensate for having uh, lost a pit, for example. I, I know that's a common one. I've, I've done that before, too. So these are just some very small little little tweaks. Uh, nothing, nothing too big. Um, and then save. Uh, again, if you're in a different different drive, you need to be aware of where you're saving because it can't save across drives for whatever reason. Um, 
So in our case, Salamander Man, OK, and the file is saved. You should always use a backup of the file. Don't use the, the one that you are editing, like actually in the program itself. And this is because sometimes this um, Megman editing tool will let you do things that the game will not let you do. For example, put a tile and a spike on the same, on the same square. Uh, this editing tool doesn't have a problem with that. The game, however, uh, does have a huge problem with that, and the game will not load your level anymore. So you should always have a backup of the level that you're actually using just to avoid situations like this. So in, in my case, I just renamed the level Salamander Man 2, and I'm putting that back into the app data, um, the user's username app data local Mega Maker levels folder so it can be accessible in Mega Man Maker. Now let's load up the game and see what it actually looks like when we're playing. Alright, now we're back in Mega Man Maker and we see Salamander Man 2, which is the level that we want to actually load up. So let's play this level. And up here, we can actually see where I edited the file. So right where the shrimp is, you'll see the connected uh, pipes on the left of the shrimp. And it goes from blue to brown with no uh, no new connection piece. Uh, same with the pipe above us right there. There's uh, no map directly above Magnan right here. And the, the pipe is... Um, not with the broken transition, uh, the broken transition pipe that you would have to have uh, if you didn't text edit. So it's very quick and easy to to make these changes, and um, yeah, you can just make your make your level smaller and uh, a lot cleaner. There's one more thing I forgot to mention, um, which I, I probably should because it's quite important. On every tile set you will see um, these tiles here in the middle. They're in the same location on every tile, um, although s some tile sets are e easier to actually notice a the difference. There are these four right there. And um, if I actually go to like, this one's a good one to show. These four here in the middle, with the, they have the red and blue stars. These are the tiles that go into the middle of a section. And these are clippable. So Mega Man will walk right through these. So try not to use these uh, these tiles um, unless you're like decorating a background or something like that. Uh, an example of this would be the the tiles in um, Sheet Man's level. Because those ones are, are quite apparent that they're part of a, a background. And I'll show you what they look like in the game and how you can clip right through them. Okay, so we're back in Mega Man Maker here. Um, if we take Mega Man and we move him up to where I put those sheep tiles, you'll see what I mean. You can clip right through them. All of them are clippable. And... Um, yeah, they should only really be used to decorate the background. Um, it's a very bad practice to actually make them as part of the um, the the level themselves, like a clipable wall or something like that. Um, some people do do that. I recommend against it because it makes the levels less fun and more cryptic. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the basics of text editing. And if you like this uh, video and you want some more tutorials on how to edit stuff um, or make some decent levels, just um, let me know in the comments below. And like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.